What's up Fantastics, Alexa here, bringing you another authentic, fun and useful video about Finland. So if you're interested in Finland, consider subscribing. So often when I'm speaking about Finnish language with foreigners, I realize how funny and weird expressions we have in Finnish language. And today I'm gonna introduce you 26 weird slash funny expressions in Finnish language that we still use. Let's go check the stuff right now. The first word we have is mustasukkainen. Musta sukkainen, and this means jealous, which literally means and there's actually two words in this. Musta means black, and sukkainen is an adjective meaning someone that who's wearing socks, so it's like socky or socks wearing person. And so in Finnish, if you're jealous, you're a person wearing black socks. And the second word we have is harrasta. Harrasta. It means uh, to have a hobby or do a hobby. Many languages like English we have a word hobby. In, in Finnish we have actually a verb to, to do that hobby. So harrastus is a hobby as a noun, but harrasta is a verb of doing a hobby. So for example, if I say harrastan jalkapalloa, it means like my hobby is football, but literally it means I'm hobbying or I'm doing as a hobby. Uh, football and there's actually really fun uses for this word like in English if to have sex, you know to, when you have sex But we in Finnish we use this hobby word for when to say we have sex So in Finnish you're not having sex you're hobbying sex which is really funny in my in my opinion, okay. Now when I try to rationalize it, it's out really funny. So Finnish people treat sex as a hobby. <laughs> kind of, yeah. Let's go move on. Third word we have is kalsari kännit. Kalsari kännit. And you've probably heard this word on my on my channel before. Very tanker kalsari kännit. That's a word. Well, it's good. This means literally to drink alone at your home wearing nothing but underwear. And this consists of the word kalsari, which means underwear especially for guys underwear and can it means like a state of drunk <laughs> so we have a really accurate word for this kind of action or recreational activity i would say if you want to do culture can it you know what's it about the next word we have is lohi kärme lohi kärme this means dragon but when we break into the word there's again two words lohi which means salmon and kärme which means Snake, so it's like salmon snake equals dragon, which is really weird actually. Well, I went to online again and find out what's the if there's, if there's any explanation. And it seems that it used to be Lohi Karme before, and at some point the old letter dropped out and it became Lohi Karme. So that's how it has evolved in the <laughs> in the in the past. The next one, I just this is actually a bit different compared to the last one. Kuusi pala, kuusi pala. This one phrase has all these meanings that I've listed here. Depending on the depending on the context, and you're probably seeing this in like funny social media posts, like memes about Finnish language or Finnish. You're probably seeing this, so it's often there. And this is just like a coincidence, like how many different meanings this word can have. Kuusipala. Next one we have pussikalia. Pussikalia. This means this is a bit difficult to translate, but it means to go in the shop, buy some beer, then go to the park or some public place and drink it there. And pussy means back, kalia means beer. So the idea is that you go buy, get some beers to your back, and then when you go someplace to drink, you just get your beers from the back, and then you drink it there. So this is a fun way to do that kind of. And the next one we have is asin silta. Asin silta. This means when you have like a really clumsy way to change the topic when you're speaking or writing, like essays and stuff. Two words again. Asin means donkeys genitive form of donkey and silta means bridge and so this is like donkey's bridge because it's like kind of slow and dumb way like a donkey to make a transition or in your in your topics next one is pyukki poika pyukki poika and this means actually i don't know what it means but i'm gonna put the translation here so you get an idea and that's the thing where you use to put your clothes drying that's the idea pyukki means laundry and poika means boy or son so it's laundry boy, and, and that's a laundry boy in Finnish, and it helps you to make your clothes dry after the laundry. Pretty useful, isn't it? The next one we have is rintaliivi, rintaliivi, and this means bra. But rinta means breast or chest, and liivi means west. So in Finnish, you're not wearing bra, you're wearing breast west. West for the breasts. Wests for the breasts. <laughs> okay, what am I doing? We should make like a rap about it. Wests for the breasts in Finland only. Hashtag Finland. <laughs> oh my god, I'm going crazy here. Next one we have is Virta Hepo. 
virta, hepo, and this means hippo. Virta means like a stream or a river, and hepo means, I think it means like a horse, so it's like a stream, horse. So that's the animal that's in the, you know, in the river, and like uh, with a big mouth, you know, and that kind of stuff. So virta, hepo, stream horse is a hippo in Finnish. The next one we have is kilpikonna, kilpikonna, and this means literally turtle. Kilpi means shield or shell. Konna means uh, it means kind of like a thug or like a bad guy, and especially if it's something that kids would use, like sinking konna. It's like you thug and you know like you bad guy, you dummy, that kind of stuff. But in Finnish, turtle is the bad guy hiding under the shield. Uh, the next one we have is arpa kuutio. Arpa kuutio. This means dice. But if we break the word again, arpa means kind of lottery or chance. And kuutio means cube, so the dice in Finnish is the lottery cube, which generates the random number between 1 to 6 when you throw it. Good stuff. The next one we have is, which we have, we have oma kotitalo. Oma kotitalo. Oma kotitalo. Oma kotitalo. <laughs> oh my god. We're gonna make like chant about Finnish words, oh my god. So oma means own, koti means home, and talo means house, so it's om hon house. And this, I think, is a semi-detached house. I'm gonna put the translation here because I'm not quite sure currently what the, what's the English one. But this is like the own home you have, own house. Not the, not the stored flat, not the block of flats. It's like the own play, or, or your own home. Own home and own house you have. Kuluma karvat. Kuluma karvat. This means literally eyebrows. Kuluma means corner or angle. And karvat means hair. When we talk about eyebrows, those are the angled hair above your eyes. Good stuff. Tietokone. Tietokone. This is a, a really useful one. Tietokone means computer. Tieto means, uh, it could be actually information, data, knowledge, different kind of stuff. And kone means machine. So computer is knowledge machine in Finnish. And I think it's actually quite a descriptive name, isn't it? Like knowledge machine. This machine that handles the knowledge. <laughs> Good stuff. Another machine we have is partakone. Partakone. This is the machine that you shave your beard, like that kind of stuff. Parta means beard, machine, uh, kone means machine. Makes a lot of sense from the previous one. So with the beard machine, you make sure your beard stays in good shape. Unlike mine. <laughs> okay. Okay, this next one is also a bit different. This is monkey. Monkey. It has actually all of meanings. Monkey can be a basic cinnamon roll. You can see the picture here, it's really sweet, uh, kind of dessert kind of thing. But you can also mean a monk, makes sense, monkey monk. That were the guys who are at the monastery, that kind of stuff. But it has also a really colloquial meaning for boobs. So, cinnamon rolls equals boobs in Finnish language. <laughs> Should we do like a how to talk dirty in Finnish video? Let me know in the comments below. Next one we have is Valipala. Valley pala, and this means like the snack you have between meals. Valley means like a between or like an interval. Actually, it could have a little different meanings. And pala means like a piece. So between piece. <laughs> well, it makes actually quite a lot of sense. Like you have something in between. You have a small snack in between the lunches and meals or meals and stuff. Makes a lot of sense. The next one we have is Suden Corento. Suden Corento, and this means dragonfly. Suden means wolves, like wolf, the animal, but wolves, uh, like a genitive form. And Corento is actually, I had to look it up, it's, it can mean a, a type of insect, which makes a lot of sense in this context, but it can also mean like an old, like a farm tool. Wolves, old farm tool equals dragonfly. <laughs> well, you could put it that way too. <laughs> a lot of fun fun ways to think about Finnish language. Uh, yeah, maapallo. Maapallo, this uh, means earth, planet earth. Ma means, actually ma can have a lot of meanings. I'm gonna put them here, you can check them here. Pallo means kind of ball or a globe. Earth globe means planet earth. Well, I think it makes a lot of sense actually. Next one we have is hajuvesi. Hajuvesi and <laughs> this perfume, haju, which means odor or smell, and vesi means water. So in, when Finnish, a girls, for example, use perfume, they're not using perfume, they're using smell water to make themselves smell nice. <laughs> wow, interesting, crazy. The next one we have is maurakoira. Maurakoira. This is type of dog, like a, like a race, I think, but it can also mean a 12 case of beer in, <laughs> in 
in Finnish language, like a colloquial way. And Maura means it's like a type of animal. I don't know it in English. I'm gonna put it here. And Koira means dog. And so when we're you're when you heard Maura Koira, it doesn't only mean about the dog. It could be also the twelve bottles of beer. Good stuff. We have few more because Kalakukko, Kalakukko, and this means. I'm not sure if there's an English translation, but this is a typical, a traditional Finnish food in the eastern part of Finland. Kala means fish, kukko means rooster. So we have a traditional Finnish food is fish rooster. I actually have never tried it myself. I should try it when I go check the eastern parts of Finland next time. Last word we have is joulupukki. Joulupukki. This means Santa Claus. Joulu means Santa uh, no, Yolo means Christmas, Pukki means goat. So the Christmas goat is the Santa Claus in Finland and in Finnish language. So it's kind of funny because Santa is like a human being, you know, not an animal. So pretty weird stuff. Okay, that's all words for this time. Which one was the most fun? Let me know in the comments below. And if there's also some similar kind of words in your language, I would love to hear, hear what kind of stuff you have. And if you haven't checked my new Patreon page, go check it out. You can access to some cool behind the scenes and extras. And you can also subscribe for more authentic, fun, useful videos about Finland. I thank you for watching this video and I'll see you in the next one. So, more.